Hello, so this session is going to take you through how to create a quiz and um, grade it in Google Classroom. So what I've done is I've created a form and I have made sure that I've um, put in questions for my name so I can know who um, is actually completing the quiz. I also have some demographic data which is what block do you take my class. <clears throat> And the rest of the questions are multiple choice because I want to be able to choose one correct answer. So it's a very short um, question quiz. And I've gone in and I've just put in some dummy responses and they're right here. When I click on responses, these are all the responses in the general summary format. But what you want to do is come over here to where it says view responses in sheets. I'm going to click on that. So this is my response in an Excel sheet within Google Drive. I'm going to need to use this sheet to be able to use the add-on that enables me to grade. Okay? So what you are going to do once your um, <coughs> quiz Excel sheet is loaded is come up here to add-ons. I've already add -on, added on to Fluberoo, but I want you to do is hit get add-ons. It takes you to this search add-ons feature and you're going to type in Flubaroo. It's this add-on right here. It's F-L-U-B-A-R-O-O, -O, Flubaroo. You're going to click it and then you would add it. I've already added it so you'll see that there. <clears throat> Once you've done that, you're going to click on add-ons again. You're going to click on Flubaroo and you want to grade the assignment. I'm going to regrade the assignment so that you guys can see. I'm going to hit yes. So step one is I want to select a grading option. So I'm going to make sure that these questions are just to identify the student. It gives me a drop down an option. I can skip grading for a question. All right. And the rest will be indicated as normal grading. That's what you would select for any multiple choice question. And I'm going to hit continue. The next step is I am going to choose one of the respondents as the answer key. So what, I, what I've done is before I've gotten to this point, I have gone through the survey as a teacher, and I put my name as teacher, and I have selected all of the questions and, an and given them correct answers. So I've gone in and, and done one with a 100% passing rate. And I'm choosing that as my answer key. And I'm going to hit continue. It's grading my assignment now. Now you'll see <clears throat> that it creates a completely different sheet. I'm going to X out of this. Right here at the bottom it says grades. You'll also see the answers or the, the grades for all of my students. They're listed here, one through, um, oh, I didn't do nine, so <laughs> one through eight and then 10. You see their, uh, their percentage of the questions that they answered correctly, and those can be entered into Infinite Campus. You'll also see how many people right here answered the questions, the number of low scoring questions, and how many points were possible overall. That is simply how grades are done using Google Classroom and Google Tools and Forms.